Energy efficiency is on everyone's minds these days, from packaging and paint to cars and carbon footprints. People want to go green and be responsible when it comes to their new home buying decisions. At Mountain View Homes, Mike Memmi is making green living an initiative to building energy efficient homes suited to today's eco-sensitive home buyers. This is Daily Web TV. We all want to be more energy efficient as we are eco-sensitive in this time. Here with us today is Mike from Mountain View Homes. Now, Mike, how do you address the needs or the wants of consumers? Well, it's obvious today people want a more energy efficient house mm -hmm. to try to get the costs of maintaining that house down. Right. So the first step to making a house more energy efficient is you add more insulation. And the building code has been changing over the years, adding more and more insulation. Uh, one thing people really aren't aware of is the fact that the more insulation you add, the harder it is to dry a wall out. So if so, any moisture gets in the wall, uh, you, the more insulation, the harder it is to dry it out, the more chance of things like mold uh, ooh, occurring. And yes. we don't want that. So how does no. Mountain View address that problem? Because obviously you build energy efficient homes. Yes, we do. So to address that problem, you want to have a good uh, air barrier around your house so that there's less air movement and moisture movement through the wall. And we build a, a very tight air barrier on our houses. Um, we get all of our houses measured for their air tightness using uh, what's called a blower door test. We put a big fan in the front door and it sucks on the house like crazy and we find out where there's any imperfections in oh. the house. Do you do that on every home? Every single home we do a blower door test. We have a technician come out and do that test to tell us how airtight the house is. And so that, Oh, go ahead. So by putting a, a, a barrier around the home, where does that go? Does it go between the brick and the... It's right behind the drywall. It's, uh, the house becomes like a big uh, plastic bag. We put a, a sheet of poly and uh, we seal all the joints. In some spots we use drywall, some spots we use plywood to create our air barrier. In essence, you end up living in kind of like a giant fish tank. Oh. Um, that keeps uh, the moisture from going into the walls. Mm -hmm. But obviously, a fish tank may not always be the best thing either. Right. So if you don't get air circulation in that fish tank, everything goes green. You, see you get that, those algae that's blooms. Right. <laughs> that's right. We don't want any algae blooms in our houses. And you've okay. seen what happens in a fish tank if you don't have proper filtration and if you don't change the water. So it's very important in our houses that we have filtration and we change the water. Unfortunately, the building code doesn't require filtration. We call it ventilation. Mm -hmm. uh, but we include ventilation in every single house we build. We don't want algae blooms in our fish tanks. So you keep our houses dry, mold-free, but still have that really high rating in terms of insulation. Yes, you got the insulation. You don't have to worry about any problems in your walls because the house is built airtight. The problem, though, with once the house is too airtight, you need ventilation. Mm -hmm. We include a ventilation system in the basement. Uh, and that allows us to get the humidity levels down in the house um, because you want to keep low humidity levels uh, so that you don't get mold issues as well. Mm -hmm. And so you don't get meanies like this little guy. I was going to ask, yeah. who is this? <laughs> this is my friend, the dust mite. Oh. Although real dust mite's not quite as cute as this. No. And but, you wouldn't, you wouldn't <clears> No, you wouldn't want to pet him. But I, I like this guy because, you know, you, you buy this in a little store and it actually has a very uh, informative um, tag that comes with it. And I'm just going to mm -hmm. go through some of the things talk about uh, clean air in houses. Facts. Although many people credit pollen and animal dander with triggering allergies, dust mites are the primary cause of year-round allergies and asthma. Nearly 10% of the population is affected by these little guys. And millions of mites inhabit the average house. I so you're telling me a pretty. damp house produces more dust well, mites? Well, eliminating dust mites in your house is no small challenge, though to achieve devastating effect Humidity below 40% must be maintained for an extended period of time, a difficult undertaking except for those who already live in dry regions or who live in a Mountain View house with a ventilation system. Uh, and that says that right on here? No, it doesn't, the Mountain View part's not there. But, but in essence, that's it. To kill these things, you need to have humidity levels less than 40%. Homes built today are more airtight. They don't have ventilation mm -hmm. as standard. Mm -hmm. And they get over 40% humidity. And they could have huge numbers of these that, we just can't have that happen in our houses. So, and, and I love that. So you take pride that it's not going to happen in a Mountain View home. So you, you add that extra ventilation. Now, is there, is there a, um, a scale or a, a guide that, that helps oh, measure well, that? And that, that ties back into the blower door test that we do. Actually, for every house that we build, 
we uh, hire um, a consultant to do an analysis of the construction drawings and all the materials that we put into the house. Uh, and then we do the blower door test to find out how airtight the house right. is. And then these consultants give us a rating on the inner guide scale, which is a rating on a scale from 0 to 100, to tell us how energy efficient our houses are relative to other houses. And uh, you, take, you get a sticker with this rating, and you put it on the hydro panel, and it shows prospective future purchasers of your house how energy efficient it is. Right, so it's, that's a really great test. Thank you so much, that's really fabulous information. And if you want more information, be sure to go to mountainview.com. I'm Mariel Bradley, we've been talking about energy efficiency in the homes, and you've been watching Daily Web TV.